Hey guys, it's me, Pokemon J Rare HD, and today we have week nine of the ICBA, where we are coming off an unfortunate loss that put us back to four and four in the playoff race that is very tight. So we definitely need to win this one, and we are facing a great challenge in Matt O'Shea and his Montreal Melodics, and he brought the team of Ferrothorn, Mega Gallade, Silvali, uh, Latios, Mandibuzz, and Battle Bond Greninja. And so the team. I decided to bring that I felt could handle his squad, which he also had a Placephalon that was uh, at least notable in my mind when I was prepping, is a specially defensive um, Arcanine for the Latios and the Placephalon with Flamethrower, Snarl, uh, will o -Wisp, Morning Sun is what I thought I was going to bring and what I meant to bring. But I actually brought my <laughs> Arcanine from week seven against uh, Paper. And that Arcanine, so which is the one I ended up bringing, is actually max HP, or no, no HP, like max defense uh, speed for like Landorus T with Flamethrower, Dragon Pulse, Hidden Power Ice, and Morning Sun. So not the mod I meant to bring <laughs> in that sense, but still has Dragon Pulse and Hidden Power Ice, so we'll, you know, and a fire move, so we'll work with it. Uh, the Fizz Def part, kind of unfortunate because it was meant for special stuff. But, again, we'll work with it. Then we have a Mega Pinsir with Return, Quick Attack, Sword Dance, and Stealth Rock. Didn't have any, I couldn't fit Stealth Rock onto the Mew, so it became, uh, Stealth Rock because I felt like flying could cover the team just fine. Like Savali being a type that resisted flying is the only flying resist that he could potentially have. But Savali's trash, so I don't care. Um, Mew is a defensive set with Dazzling Gleam, Taunt, Roost. Uh, man, I'm forgetting the last move, but I'm pretty sure it was just uh, mono attacking because Dazzling Gleam hits the Latios. Uh, Mandibuzz, it's called Greninja, and most importantly, Mega Glade. This is my Mega Glade switch in 100%. Then we have the Blade, which is a countermeasure for said Mega Glade, as well as has enough offense to take on the Placephalon. So it has Shadow Sneak, Sacred Sword, Toxic. I don't remember the fourth move. <laughs> God, this is bad. I just looked at the moves before too. That I was and totally for oh sword dance, sword dance, definitely sword dance. But yeah, toxic because yeah, mana buzz if it has foul play. Yeah, it just kills me if I sword dance up. So if it's going to be my expected switch in onto it, then we just can toxic it, no problem. Then next up we have probably the most important member of this team, uh, Pre Marina. It's typing actually is amazing against uh, against Matt's team. Just water fairy coverage is amazing. Literally the only thing that resisted it is the Ferrothorn. I wanted to put Hidden Power Fire in there. However, uh, I will not allow Greninja to battle bond, evolve, ash form, whatever. No. Uh-uh. That is Primarina's main role. It can check the Mega Glade. It can check the Latios. But more important than that, and the way that I make sure I don't get smacked by uh, Battlebond Greninja, and the reason why I think Battlebond Greninja is cool but not great in League format is because it has to get that kill first. And that is literally the one role, is I'm preventing any kill because I am max HP, max defense, but plus spadef nature, because I could take any special moves from the, most of the team, as well as Greninja, and I can take gunk shots. And that's 
why I needed the defense. And so I am, if he's attack invested gunk shot, I cannot take two. But I don't think that's what you would bring ever. And if he does, um, I can I do. I think I could handle a physical one much better, actually. So that's that's actually like I would be perfectly okay with that. But I shouldn't like. I want to say I could still take gunk shots from it, even if it was a summon attack invested. But I would have to imagine he's not gonna be max attack like adamant or anything like that. So I'm taking my chances on that because I think the extra utility of being a plus spadef nature is just um, better overall. Then we have expert uh, leftovers, by the way, with rest talk. Uh, since I couldn't, I couldn't fit hidden power fire because I wanted rest talk. So once fairy thorn's gone, though, no, fa no fairy resist. <laughs> so other than potentially whatever uh, Silvali's type is, but again, trash mon, so I don't care. Uh, then lastly, we have uh, Faramosa, and Faramosa has bug buzz, focus blast, ice beam, and foul play with the expert belt. It's just Solid coverage. I imagine Mandibuzz being a uh, physically defensive uh, wall, so Ice Beams should just annihilate it. Bug Buzz annihilates Latios and Greninja, and I am running Spadef instead of my usual defense with my extra EVs because of Water Shuriken. So I do not care what set he is, I can take Water Shurikens. Uh, he has to literally be like. I think Specs modest and get five hits to Oko, my Faramosa, potentially. So like, highly unlikely. Then, uh, it just smacks the team line and foul play because if he swords ants up with uh with Mega Gallade and he doesn't have Shadow Sneak, which I feel like Shadow Sneak, while it would be a cool tech and all, it he misses out on coverage that he might need. And I have things on my team like Primarina that resists. Uh, the fighting, then I have uh, the blade that resists both the fighting and the psychic then I have Mew that resists <laughs> both the psychic and fighting, so he, ha he needs to pick his coverage moves wisely, and so I think that he cannot fit Shadow Sneak, and that's why I'm willing to take that risk, and so I'm going to lead off with my Arcanine, because I don't want him getting uh, hazards up as well as just intimidates the nice and I have switch ins to the things that threaten this being uh, pretty much just the Greninja for the most part because if I intimidate the Mega Glade that's perfectly fine with me because that, that gives me the switch into Mew where I have my Colber Berry and I can taunt it if I need to so he leads off with Ferrothorn so that's perfect I click fire move. And this is, this is thankfully because I let off with Arcanine, this is where I realized, oh, I don't have the right Arcanine. So, good to know that I don't have the right Arcanine off the bat, but I go for Flamethrower. He's actually Akaberry, so and I'm not, I'm very minimally specially attacking message, so it does, it does nothing. Apparently, Flamethrower wasn't even going to kill this thing. So, I'm pretty sure he's specially defensive, but he's already got the Aquaberry's gone, I already know he's not a Chopple, so for the most part it doesn't really matter. Ferrothorn is just kind of there. It's only really deterring my uh, Primarina, but it's not, its job is not to be offensive, so it does not, It like its job is just to handle Greninja first and foremost, so not a big deal. So I Flamethrower, he, as he goes into his Latiosis, I stay in to see what it is, because I have Dragon Pulse, so, and I, this, this, well, Technically, this was supposed to be specially defensive, but since it's not, I'm like, whatever. I, I have Dragon Ball, so let's just do some damage. As he actually tricks me as Choice Scarf. So now I'm locked into Dragon Pulse. And, uh, oh yeah, this is actually a recreation because we disconnected. So originally I got a crit, but it's whatever. You know, the extra damage on Lottie would be nice, but we, it, we'll get it as close as we can. And as a spoiler, I will. I, I do mess up our <laughs> recreation a little bit, so there's gonna be even some extra wacky plays here. But um, I go Mew on it as he goes into his uh, into his Savali, and I do see that it is Fairy, 
and that just lets me defog away the rocks so I don't have to deal with that as he actually goes for a parting shot which I'm kicking myself because I have taunt like I literally could have just taunted this and then go out or then defog and literally then he has to switch instead and I'm not at minus one because in comes the glade and obviously this is meant for this so that's not something I want to do with <laughs> so I believe I'm going to taunt just to make sure you can't like sub you can't get out of hand with like sword dances or anything like that so uh he actually does sword dance here and so I do get that taunt off but the only thing is now he's plus two and I'm minus one so my dazzling gleam is going to do no damage and he can go for knockoff knocks off my clover berry but hey I you know I'm definitely going to live that's not a problem but I'm going to do zero damage back. <laughs> but that's you know good to know now. So he has knockoff. I actually um, crit him. I did not originally in the first one. In the recreation though I do. But it doesn't really matter actually because of how the way things played out in the normal one. Because he does just knock me out with the next one. And uh, so I go into my the blade here. Which is not actually how we did this. Because I'm dumb. Uh, so <laughs> that's not actually how I think I went into my um, my pincer to threaten with the uh, quick attack, <laughs> but I was dumb and I just went into this into the blade because that is because the blade versus my blade does happen later. So, uh, so we're just like, oh shit, what do we do? But he just can click an extra um, SD. So, uh, yeah, he goes into his mandibus. So this is what really happened was you know, on my potential quick attack, he wanted to switch into the mandibus, so that's potentially a rocky helmet or just being defensive in case he can foul play me. So I do quick attack, and it does reveal the rocky helmet. So I have to switch out, obviously. Like, this is a losing matchup. So I'm going to go into my pre-marina. I'm fine with taking, you know, what? Toxic, foul play, you know, Roos, U turn, whatever he wants to go for. Primarina puts him in an awkward position, really, because now his you know his only fairy resist is the Ferrothorn that's at already just about half health. So he is gonna get out of there. As I also switched because super obvious that the Ferrothorn was coming in. Like, there's no way it's not coming in. Because that's pretty much its usefulness is that so he doesn't get smacked by my Primarina. And so since I bring in the Arcanine on there, he's just going to go into a Savali as a safe switch in on my Flamethrower. Which it takes a little bit of damage, but not a whole lot since I'm, I'm not offensive anyway. So I'm assuming he has some bulk invested. And so I just go into my Pincer to try to force the issue here. On, I, I know he's gonna go for parting shot, but uh, Pincer can you know, swords dance if I need it to, or just put me back in the situation where uh, he has to go into you know Manda Buzz, and I can just go into Pre, pre Marina. But I think he wants to avoid that, so he actually goes into his um, Gallade, which this so this time so because of uh, I didn't get a crit, so he was pretty healthy. So I'm just going to switch out because quick attack doesn't actually kill or it might a roll from that range. So I, as what happened in real, in the real match, he goes for thunder punch. So I've seen, you know, in the original one, knock off and thunder punch. So I know he doesn't, you know, I, I, I was correct that he doesn't have sneak and uh, thunder punch makes sense to hit the pre marina. And so... He knocks off my to blade as I went for toxic because I thought he wouldn't want to uh, stay in and he would want to go into the um, the mandibuzz as a response rather than just letting it die. But he was perfectly fine with it. So what ends up happening is in the real one, he dies to toxic on the same turn that uh, that I die to you know knock off. I think it was or you know whatever move and so. We're just making sure here that we both die. So he goes for 
Thunder Punch kills me, as he dies to the Toxic from the, the Blade. And I'm just very glad that that's gone. You know, my Mew did what it needed to. My Mew and the Blade took both to take it out, but Mega Glade's a problem just in general, so I'm okay with that trade. And so I go into my Pheromos because now it's in a great position. I I threaten everything, you know, maybe barring the uh, Savali, which I'm assuming is fairy for the reasoning that I might not carry Poison Jab based off of his team or disregarding Savali potential typing. So I just go for Bug Buzz. It's safe against the, you know, the Latios. Obviously, I know he's not Scarfed because he tricked it away and so he has leftovers for my Arcanine so I just get two bug buzzes off and there down goes Ferrothorn and I'm just like hey you know I get my speed boost it doesn't really matter I can't kill the um I don't have poison so I can't kill this <laughs> the Silvali but uh now he has no fairy resist so Primarina just became a huge threat which speaking of I just go straight into it because I'm like hey what can you do to me as he goes for multi-attack Lol, does like no damage. <laughs> so why such trash? <laughs> but um, yeah. So I can just throw off Moonblast. Like, hey, where's your? He has like three dark. He has or <laughs> not three dark. He has two dark types and a dragon in the back, and he has uh a this. So he's literally switching into something that's very weak. <laughs> if, uh, on me if he party shots so he, and that is exactly what he does so he goes into his mana buzz the only thing that can take a moon blast at this point I'm sure and a minus one moon blast does like around half so I'm like okay what, what are you gonna do to me now like I can just spam moon blast like I know you're faster but what, what are you gonna do to me so he just roost and all I've seen is I believe foul play and roost so I'm not sure what his full moveset is if he has like taunt or toxic or knockoff or brave bird or anything I don't know what else, or you know, defog, I guess, could be something you'd have, like, I can just keep cl uh, clicking Moonblast, and I'm gaining, I'm gaining health from the leftovers, because he, he just doesn't threaten this Primarina with anything, like, I, like, I think, like, at this point, Primarina just looks like it kind of wins, and, like, I can just sit here, like, I, I'm a defensive one that doesn't have any, you know, special attack investment, but... I'm doing like around half, close to half. So, I mean, I could honestly just stall him out of uh, Roost, but you know, I, I'm minus, and this is me minus one. So imagine if I was, uh, you know, just at neutral. So because of that, I'm like, well, I can just go into my um, Arcanine. It's healthy. I don't care about it since it's already like tricked a scarf anyway, as he does reveal the U-turn. And uh, that is very nice because he didn't heal that time so now he's only at about half and so that's that's just something to keep note of because since he's at half i can threaten it now with pincer too and so he goes into this and in the originally he would have had less health so uh dragon pulse would have killed but it's again i'm like it's whatever this arcanine was pretty useless <laughs> so he goes for side shock which is funny enough because i'm max like defense but no like hp so i live that just i mean that i take that just fine but uh yeah i could take out this with two dragon balls i'm not sure why he didn't switch into savaldi but i mean again like no matter what he does he honestly just primarina just comes in so I'm not worried, like I, but I don't want to throw it in if I, if I don't have to. So he, I, you know, see now that, okay, his plan was to just get in the Greninja and, you know, try to get that kill on um, Arcanine, but I'm like, ha, no, Primarina, literally here for that. But he goes for the U-turn, expecting my, my switch in, you know, wanting to see what my switch in is. Here you go. So since he has U-turn though, I have to, and it did zero damage, by the way. So I know he's not max attack and, uh, because he has U-turn, I don't know what his coverage is other than that, but I'm start. I'm like, I don't think he can handle me. So he just goes for multi-attack here. I guess doesn't, you know, wants to weaken me for the Greninja, but again, Savali's trash, can't do damage anyway, and I have Rest Talk, so I do not care. And Moonblast are doing good amount of damage, honestly. Like, it looks like a potential 3-8 KO. But he's also rest, and so I'm assuming, you know, oh, okay, I see. So he's Moonblast, or not Moonblast, he's uh, multi-attack fairy, uh, parting shot, rest, and I'm, I'm going to assume sleep talk. So he just 
wants to see if he can stall me out because it's a three hit KO and he's faster. Uh, he can, uh, I guess, potentially wake up. I don't know. Uh, either way, I'm actually just going to force the issue because I, I'm fine with keeping me healthy <laughs> with all the, uh, the leftovers. I'm just, I don't care if he gets multi attack. I don't care if he gets parting shot. The pincer is a threat to him now. So, uh, because of the mana bus being at around half. So I can honestly just sword dance here. Like I, I, th I get a kill <laughs> because, because of sword dancing here, no matter what he, no matter what happens, no matter if he gets a multi attack, if he gets a parting shot, but, uh, luckily on both sleep talks, he actually, uh, gets rest. So I am in completely amazing position because two multi attacks would never kill by the way. Uh, so always trash and then a uh, parting shot or one multi attack into a parting shot probably would have been his best scenario because then he can go into this but i just you know return i take the rocky helmet damage you know it's doesn't matter i uh so then i calc here i'm like this plus two quick attack kill no it doesn't so i don't need to risk anything i can go into pre-marina it's I don't think he has gunk shot if he has U-turn, to be honest, which is an, it's a big assumption, but I'm like, hey, he's not going to go for it right now if he has it, because it would kill. So he goes for Ice Beam. I now am like 100% sure he does not have it, because he probably has Dark Pulse, probably has you know a water move. I don't know which one. You know, probably, maybe Shuriken, but uh, yeah. <laughs> he goes for Dark Pulse, uh, seeming like he's kind of, he's realizing, hey, there's not really a whole lot I can do. So, that's kind of just the game. I mean, Primarina just sits here and wins. <laughs> uh, you know, the only thing that he could really do, you know, realistically speaking here, is try to stall me out with this uh, Silvali. But because his multi-attack is doing less than my Moonblast does to him, and I have leftovers, uh, and he does not, yeah, uh, I win that stall war. Like, it does not matter at all. He literally can't do anything. So... We win the game, and uh, I talked to him after the game. I know he was not happy that uh, the that he got you know rest both times, which that sucks. And by the way, crit <laughs> did no damage. Um, and uh, though we we you know we talked it over, and he said he was you know I think he you know he was splash I think he was modest uh, splash plate with uh, what's it called uh, water shuriken on the Greninja, but I, I showed him the calcs. Uh, it actually does not kill my Ferrimosa from full. It did not, uh, like nothing, it, it, cause I saw his whole moveset. He couldn't do, I think he couldn't even do like 20% to my Primarina. So literally Greninja was never gonna get killed. And that was his only real win con because without my Primarina, like if you take that away, yeah, it destroys my team. And especially if he, if he uh, goes to Ash form, like actually gets the battle bound off. Yeah, he destroys my team. But that was the whole point of Primarina, was hey, I am not letting Battlebunger Ninja, you know, make uh, a fool of me. And that's also why I don't like Battlebunger Ninja as compared to Protean. Like, Protean's just so much more useful. Like, I get that the power is really nice of Battlebond, but I think the utility uh, as a just revenge killer of uh, Greninja is with Protean instead is just much more valuable because to me battle bond is just paying a lot extra for a regular Greninja and so I'm not a big fan of personally and then also Savali it was doing no damage in it that thing is such trash if any if anyone who knows me is watching this you know how much I hate Savali it's such trash like it defogs it does parting shot it does u-turn and that's like it because the item does like, like Arceus, like, come on, that's so stupid, they did, they did him so bad, but Type Null, ooh, that's a Mon, that's a Mon I can get behind, but, um, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked, Type Null just make, makes me feel some type of way, but, eh, eh, Type, <laughs> god, I'm terrible, um, yeah, if, if someone's actually watching this long, god, I am sorry, I am so sorry, but thank you for watching. And also, before I forget, five and four in the playoff hunt.
that helps, especially because now that makes him 5 and 4 too. So, boom. Helps a lot. Thank you for watching. Bye!